Yo, what's up? This is your least favorite YouTuber. <laughs> this is Season Go Crazy. In this video, I will briefly explain you how to make dark trap soul beats for Lil Baby, Lil Jork, Lil Rodriguez. All this type of like dark, but they soul kind of mix something something unique at least. So let's play the beat first, hear how it sounds like. Here's the bass. Guys, let's briefly go through the things I used in this beat. First, uh, I used two basses here. Then I have different 8-8 pattern on the on the verse. So hear how it sounds like. In my opinion, this is pretty simple. Also, what I like is this pattern. So, I don't know, it gives me some gospel Kanye vibe, but in a trap. So, yes, but as you can see, I used some splice here. Hear how it sounds like. original sample sounds like this yeah so basically what I did I clear it like some highs some lows no, basically I didn't touch the highs just like here a little bit but yeah cut some lows I will explain why uh, a bit later and just make it repetitive so it doesn't like I don't know I didn't like the, the original one, so I had to chop it a little bit. But here, as you can see, I used the whole one because here is the intro. In my opinion, intro need to be repetitive, so shit. So yeah, that's why I used it. Uh, yeah, what's next? Uh, next, hold on, hold on. Uh, then I added this pattern here. I have uh, two instruments here. Keyscape, my favorite piano ever. No, don't worry about the VST. I know not everybody have the, this VST, so that's why link in the description, you will find absolutely free kit and FOP for this project with the loop and every sound I used here rendered into one shot. So chill you can you can use it <clears throat> so yeah i used keyscape basically i used it to give the sample a bit shape then <clears throat> i have this uh like tab keys but they're not hard to make i was just kind of following my rhythm in my head I kinda like it, you might not like it, but uh, in my opinion it sounds pretty nice. Then I have my favorite brass, I don't know, I don't know what it is, like it's a brass, it's a synth. Usually when I make loops and I use this, I use it like this. So it gives some low, uh, lower vibe, it's dark vibe, I don't know what. This time I used piano for lowers, lower keys, so that's why I use 
uh, this into like in D4 to give some space, some dark atmosphere here. Then what I have, uh, I have base here. I didn't really want to make it too long intro, so I had to put the base on the after like between this. So the, the intro isn't that long, and artists and don't really get bored. So yeah, here's the base. This bass and uh, every single drum sh drum sound I used, you can find in my drum kit. Pretty much every sound I ever 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 used is in in this drum kit. You can find it somewhere like here or here. I don't know. <laughs> so yeah pretty fire drum kit in my opinion this is the best drum kit i've ever like used for trap melodic button rouge everything everything so the whole sample sounds like this now the phrase from uh, Mark Lenz, digital flips, shout out this guy, he's really fire for making starters, phrases, one shots and overall his kits are fine. Of course you can make this melody by yourself, uh, just it's pretty repetitive piano pattern as well, but I just find it nice and I, I wanted to use it. Then I have another sample here, but I didn't use it in a final version. To give it some soul vibes, exactly how Real Rodriguez makes. And I have a key here. I used uh, EFX here, pretty dope plugin. Uh, also, you can use a Thin Micro, I guess that's how we spell it. Also, Fire, but I prefer to use this one instead. In my opinion, dope. So, here is the sample. Hold on. Yeah, and here, as you can see, I didn't bring it here because in my opinion, it's already enough sounds here. So I leave it for the verse, so. Also, when you make samples, make sure it really don't hit up like above 12. 12 is fine, maybe 9 sometimes, but like be careful because uh, you still need to have some room for the artist to, to rap over. Then I have this. Pretty basic hi hat from my drum kit. Also, uh, I can recommend you press Alt R to play the the velocity. It gives you more re realistic vibes, and it's, in my opinion, is better than just. give some groove yeah 
Then I have this, uh, my favorite snare clap. Yeah, as you can see, I have many rolls here. I don't really like when it's a lot of rolls in the beat, but in my opinion, it's perfect for this melody because I don't know, it just, I feel like this. So it, that's my opinion. Then I have this distorted open head. Also from my drum kit, you can check it out. Basic trap hi hat. Nothing too much. Then I have the first 88. Yeah, I like these rolls at the end, so it kind of gives the transition vibe to second 88. Let's play it solo first. Yeah, this is also from a drum kit. I don't think it's ATL Jacob, actually. I just name it so because I like the song uh, Keep It Burning from Kanye and Future. So I decided to use this type of 88. And here how it sounds like, like with the transition, pretty, in pretty much fire. I don't have any rolls here because it's a different type of 88. We didn't really need any rolls here. And then I have this pattern here. I like it so yeah I think it's perfect for the verse make a different type of vibe different uh, flow for artist which is also good so yeah I like it and uh, the whole beat sounds like this oh wait let me show you the master here is my preset you can find it in my drum kit that I dropped the like the newest one yes and here is my secret preset you can get it for free if you purchase my drum kit here how it sounds like without here how it sounds like with So yeah, here is the final beat. 